ensuring that communities get the final say in local planning developments, not listening to ministers at Holyrood happy to overturn decisions taken by local ministers. And keeping care local by opposing the costly reorganisation of our care system into a national service. Our councillors will do all that while fighting for their communities to get a fairer view for this statement. Mr. Three Jobs Ross, I'd like to ask about the cost of living increases, the fact that people are starving, the fact that people are being taken out and they're cold, the fact that people let me finish and, and the fact no you said I can and the fact that people are basically 1.3 million people are going to be driven out of poverty because of the cost of living increase, all because of the criminal leaders that are down in Westminster, Johnson and Sunak, they should be forced to resign over party gate. Because at the end of the day, the people that have died and the people that had sick people that they, they, they couldn't get near before the end. Every day is a reminder. Every day is a reminder for those people when Johnson's in, in, the, in, in is in power at 10 Downing Street. That's a reminder to those people every day. You're going to generate, there's going to be social unrest in Scotland unless you stop what you're doing. We need to upgrade the benefits, social security benefits, by the rate of inflation, 7 to 9 percent. Don't force me. The police can do that. All I'm saying is, you should be raising the rate for social security benefits and universal credit by 7 to 9 percent and restore the 20 pounds a week cut to universal credit. That's what you should be doing. Mr. Ross, Mr. V. Jobs Ross, thank you. Well, most people um, who come along with this will be able to ask the question.